Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. On today's episode of Topics, we're going to be talking about putting God into a box. Now you ask what that means. I'll get to that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and read Matthew chapter 6 to get some insight of the kind of things that I will be talking about. Chapter 6. But take care not to do your righteousness before men in order to be gazed at them. Otherwise, you have no reward with your Father who is in heaven. Therefore, when you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets, so they may glorify by men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But you, when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be in the secret of your father, who sees in secret will repay you. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that they may be seen by men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But you, when you pray, enter into a private room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. And in praying, do not babble empty words that, like the Gentiles do, for they suppose that in their multiplicity of words they will be heard. Therefore do not be like them, for your Father knows the things that you have need of before you ask him. You then pray in this way, Our Father who is in heaven, your name be sanctified, your kingdom come, he will be done as in heaven. So also on earth, give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom of power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their offenses, your heavenly Father will forgive you also. But if you do not forgive men their offenses, neither will your Father forgive you. And when you fast, do not be like the sullen-faced hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so that they may appear to men to be fasting. Truly I say to you, then have their reward in full. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to men to be fasting. But to your Father, who is in secret, you know Father who sees in secret will pay you. Concerning the material riches of the kingdom people, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moss and rust consume, and where thieves dig through and steal. But store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where ne neither moth nor rust consumes, and where the thieves do not dig through the st and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eyes is single, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be dark. If then the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will hold the one that despises the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Because of this, I say to you, do not be anxious for your life, what you should eat or drink, nor your body, what you should put on, is not the life more than food, and the body than clothing. Look at the birds of heaven, they do not sow or reap, nor gather in the barns, yet your heavenly Father nourishes them, and not of more value than they. Who among you, by being anxious, can add one cubit unit to his stature? And why are you anxious concerning clothing? Consider, when the lilies in the field, how they grow. They do not toil, neither do they spin thread. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like these. And if God so arrays the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is cast into the furnace, 
will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink? With what shall we be clothed? For all these things the Gentiles are anxious, seeking for your heavenly Father knows that you need all things. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So there's a few reasons I read that chapter. One, because when we go to church on Sunday, you have to ask yourself, are you just going to church to check off a box and say that you serve God and people saw you serve God? Are you putting God in a box, but then the next day on Monday you go out and possibly do other things? Or maybe on the weekend on Saturday you go out and you drink and you get drunk and you party all night and you have fun with your friends, which isn't wrong in itself, but when it becomes a sin as far as getting drunk and being wild and unruly, but then going to church the following Sunday, that's where that can be a problem. You, If you are acting one way outside of church, and then you're literally acting like you're perfect on Sunday, then you're putting God into a box. You're literally putting him into a box and saying, well, you know, I'll just serve him on Sunday and I'll do what I want the rest of the week. That's not living the life of a Christian. That's checking off a box and saying, I did it. But that's not what God wants us to do. He wants us to have a deep personal relationship with him every single day. When we eat, when God provides food, like in the Bible verses, we should be praying and thanking him for that. When we're struggling, we should be praying and thinking of God. But a lot of times we forget, and I'm guilty of that sometimes myself. And this message is for me as well sometimes, because God is great. And he deserves more than just one day a week. And putting him into a box and saying, well, I'm this way on Sunday and not, not serving him the other way. That means that you are a lukewarm Christian that is straddling the fence. And it can't be both ways. You either serve God or you serve the devil. So you have to choose which one are you serving? You need to make sure that your life is where it needs to be. And my life needs to be. Because that's the thing. We can't live in two worlds. We have to be dedicated to Christ. Especially because our time is limited. So we need to be focusing on the kingdom of heaven and not about what we have on this earth because everything we have here, the material possessions, the, the people that say keep up with the Joneses and try to have the nicest house and the nicest things, that stuff withers away. When we die, when we pass on, none of that stays with us. And we don't get to keep it. So focus less on the money and the things that you have and focus on Christ and what you can do with the things that he has given you. This week I challenge you, try to have a different focus. Don't just give God Sunday, give him every single day that you have. And this will change your life if you make a practice of doing these things. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me or reach out, or if you're struggling, I'm here for you. Please let me know. Have a good week.